Hi, this is Javina from the QuickBooks Desktop team. Today I'm going to show you how to edit COVID-related boxes on a T4 slip. As some of you already know, the CRA has introduced additional reporting on T4 slips for the 2020 tax year. These additional reporting requirements will apply to all employers and will help the CRA validate payments under the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy, Emergency Response Benefit, and Student Benefit programs. For the 2020 tax year, in addition to reporting employment income in Box 14 or Code 71, employers must also use the new Other Information Codes when reporting employment income and retroactive payments for the following period. Code 57 will be used for employment income between March 15 to May 9, Code 58 for employment income between May 10 to July 4, Code 59 for employment income between July 5th to August 29th, and Code 60 for employment income between August 30th to September 26th. Again, this is being done because eligibility criteria for the CERB, CEWS, and CESB is based on employment income for a defined period. The new requirement me means that employers should report income and any retroactive payments made during these periods. The period is the date the employee was, is paid. As an example, if you are reporting employment income for the period of April 25th to May 8th, payable on May 14th, you will use code 58. To edit the other information boxes in QuickBooks, select Employees, Payroll Forms, and Process T4s. Select the employees which you need to update and click Review. The new COVID boxes can be found at the bottom of the form. Double click on the box you wish to update, enter the description as well as the amount. Click OK and complete any other boxes that require update. Click Next to see the next employee and again double click on the box that requires update and enter your amount and description. Click OK to save, and then click Done. To get employment income for the specific period, select Reports, Employees and Payroll, and then down to PD7A Summary. Double click on the value for Gross Payroll for Period. From here, you'll need to change the date range to match those of the different codes. For Code 57, we'll run this report from March 15th to May 9th. like so. To get the breakdown by employee, select Payee in the Total By dropdown. This will give you the gross income for all employees. For example, you can see here that Jane Smith's employment income for March 15th to May 9th is $13,846.16. And for John Doe, it's 9973 and 2 cents. To find these steps online, go to quickbooks.ca and click on Learn and Support. Search for COVID. And the first article will give you step-by-step -step instructions on everything we covered. You can also click the link in the article to visit the CRA site for more information. And that is how you edit COVID-related boxes on the T4 slip in QuickBooks.